TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 9 a.m., 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And it looks like we have a positive open with all the major indices in the green. Dow futures currently positive 115 points, trading 24,830. You have the S&Ps positive by 8 points, trading at 2774. And NASDAQ futures currently positive by 27, trading at 7280. We have some volatility in oil, volatility in gold. Let's jump over to the platform on Nadex and check in on some of these futures markets with 30 minutes until the start of trading. We'll start off with the Dow 30. So we've been high, uh, excuse me, hanging near these highs since about 2 a.m. Eastern time, that is. Currently trading 24,831, about 20 points off the session highs we had last night. And really, you can see the run here from about 9 o'clock until about 2 o'clock. We saw the Dow going from about 24,650 up to 24,850. NASDAQ 100, somewhat of a similar story, but it just keeps climbing. We're making new session highs as we speak, pre-session that is. Currently trading 7,287, the NASDAQ 100. S&P's also been climbing most of the night, started right at about 9 o'clock clock, currently trading 27.74 in the S&Ps. Crude oil, there's some volatility for you. We were up there at about 65.50 early this morning, call it just prior to 4 a.m. We proceeded to trade down to almost 64.80, and now we're up almost a full 90 cents on that level, trading 65.66. We'll, of course, get the EIA inventories an hour and a half from right now, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll be live on the air for those. We'll check out those inventories in the oil market. Gold contract, struggling a bit, was down at almost 13.73 this morning, spiking a bit now up to 12, excuse me, was down at 12.73 earlier this morning, now up a bit at 12.77.05. And Bitcoin, with the news of another hacking in South Korea, with about 30 to $35 million worth of Bitcoin taken, and Bitcoin slides a bit, but in context, you're only talking about a $200 slide for a hacking where those types of news events used to be much larger volatilities in Bitcoin. So, in terms of what else you have happening fundamentally out there, you have Disney. One up in Comcast once again as their bidding war escalates. Disney raising their bid for Fox assets to $71 billion in cash and stock. You've got Fox jumping on that news this morning, up almost 8%. And GE getting dropped from the Dow. And you'll have Walgreens in there. And to see how those two are faring, you got Walgreens up about 3% on that news. GE down about 2% pre-market. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom.